What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and the Taken King is finally out so now that we got to experience some of the new content from this expansion a lot of people are working towards grinding their character and the main thing that everyone is trying to work towards right now is to increase their light level. So now that light level is independent of your actual level, making your guardian more powerful is a little bit different from year one of Destiny. Although you do have to get to level 40 for your actual level, it's only requiring experience and that's pretty easy to get because you just have to complete some missions and you just have to turn in bounties and eventually you gain enough XP to hit level 40. Once you hit level 40 though, the main grind revolves around increasing your light level so we can be prepared to participate in end game activities such as the raid which is coming out this Friday with King's Fall. So I'm going to go over some of the ways that we can increase our light level. So for example, I'm currently at 229 light. I've been playing for a little bit. I completed the main story and your light level is basically an average. It's not a actual complete average, but it's somewhat of an average of your all your weapons, your ghosts, your four pieces of armor, your class item, and your artifact slot. And so all of this is taken into account to make this light number right here and so basically what we have to do to increase our light level is to gain better weapons with higher damage numbers gain better ghosts better class items better artifacts and better armor pieces as well so one of the easier ways to acquire better gear is by buying them from vendors in the tower and now that the economy has changed we now have legendary marks as the currency instead of it being separate as crucible and vanguard marks previously in year one. So all of our vanguard and crucible marks were converted to commendations and you can use those to earn reputations for factions and all of us started off at zero legendary marks and now we must acquire these and use it as a currency to purchase gear from vendors in the tower or you can get lucky by playing missions, playing quests, and doing stuff in the game, various activities, and try to get your gear from engrams or drops from bosses and various stuff like that. But if you want to buy pieces of gear from tower vendors like the factions or the vanguard guys, the crucible guys, then legendary marks is what you need. So currently there are various ways that we can acquire legendary marks in the game right now. First off, we got the daily and weekly activities. So first up on this bottom left corner of your orbit directory, we have the daily crucible, which yields 15 marks on your first game of playing it. So you can't keep earning 15 marks over and over if you keep playing Rift, for example, on today's one. Uh, but you will get it on your first time playing a game. And then we have the daily heroic story, which also gives you 15 marks if you complete this. And then we also have the Vanguard Heroic Strike Playlist. So this will give you 10 marks per strike and I believe you will earn marks up to your third time doing it per account. So those are some ways that you can earn some guaranteed legendary marks. And you can also earn some by dismantling any year 2 legendary item. So as long as it has this Taking King symbol in the upper right corner and it's a legendary item, if you dismantle it, it will yield a few legendary marks. And so I believe maybe if you level it up and then dismantle it, you'll probably get a little bit more legendary marks out of it. So that's another way to gain a little bit more as well. So those are the ways that we have to gain legendary marks. And once we acquire all these marks, we can head to some of the vendors in the tower and purchase higher level gear. Also, I forgot to mention that even quests sometimes reward legendary marks. So for example, uh, one of my quests right here has legendary marks in the reward section once I complete this step of the quest. And this also has one right here, this Taken War uh, quest step also yields some legendary marks in the reward section as well so there are some quests that will give you legendary marks as well uh, besides doing those daily and weekly uh, playlists so here we are in the tower and for example if I take a look at a core ray the warlock vanguard for my warlock I can buy some legendary gear from her with my legendary marks once I acquire enough to purchase any of these pieces that I want and all of these are at 280 defense so that is the base 
defense of every gear in the tower for every vendor I believe and you can still increase it past 280 defense however you will need to use that infusion um, right here so that will also require a few legendary marks to do and basically you can use your higher defense pieces of gear and infuse it into lower defense gear to make them higher themselves so if you have a good piece of gear that you want to keep however as a lower defense or a, a gun that has that's really good that has a lower attack value you can infuse stuff into these guns and armor pieces and make them stronger and keep your light level higher as well so that's really good so I'm not sure what a good light level is going into the King's Fall raid on Friday However, taking a look at some of the end game activities, I can probably guess it's going to be around 300 light that we should be around because um, the nightfall is around 280 and I believe if you play a tier 3 court of oryx, it is around 300. So maybe that's probably equivalent to the raid and how much light the enemies will be in King's Fall, but I'm not sure. We don't know. We don't have an exact value. No one said anything yet. But we will find out on Friday when the raid drops and everyone's going to be excited and well prepared for the raid. So those are just some tips on how we can increase our light level now in year 2 of the Taken King. It mainly revolves around legendary marks now since that's the new currency to buy vendor gear and weapons in the tower. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Some of you guys might have known all this already but there are a lot of new players to the game with the release of the Taken King because a lot of people joined the hype around Destiny for year two and it's starting to look like a really good year. The content is amazing. There's a bunch of new stuff to play and it's just overwhelming. There's tons of stuff to do in the game right now and I'm excited to continue playing and grinding for my light level and continuing on my other characters as well. So thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace!